All right. So looking at some of these up here, this is going to be the rooter. The ear is called the pinna. The pinna. Um, obviously, the, some of these are really easy. The tongue, I think that's all of those that are on there. When we get through here, you're going to have on the very top, you're going to see two separations right here. The top one is going to be your trachea. It's not as bendy straw looking as the turtle was. The underneath one is going to be your esophagus. So I'll have a probe underneath them, like probably a little bit more distinguished, but there'll be a probe underneath there with like a, let, a number on the probe. And that's how I'll probably identify, identify those. Or I might pin them, try to separate them out and pin them. Um, as far as moving down here, we have the thyroid, the thyroid gland. On the other ones that I looked at, it's more of a pinkish color. This is the thyroid gland on this one. And so it's gonna sit kind of higher. Here's the heart. And so the thyroid gland's a little bit higher, almost on the throat area, the pharynx area. Um, they are usually a little bit more pink than this one. Um, then you get down to the heart here. Um, in this thoracic area, you have the lungs on the side, and then you have your heart. I took the pericardium off, which was a little piece of, almost looked like plastic. And then you can see these atriums quite well. This is the pig's left side so this is the left atrium and then this is the left ventricle and you need to know all four of these this is going to be the right atrium and then this is the right ventricle okay, moving down to the thoracic cavity we have this section that separates these two this is called the diaphragm then you have the liver and just like all the other times when you lift that up it's all before <laughs> it's been kind of greenish color that's your gallbladder. And then um, you sh your stomach is going to be this one right here. This is going to, this tongue looking thing is the spleen. You lift both of these up, then you see it almost looks kind of, like, in my opinion, like cottage cheese or something. That's your pancreas. These are not separated out, and I probably won't separate them out. Um, as far as I won't undo them, this side over here is smaller diameters, the small intestines. This is the large intestines. The large intestines then goes into the colon, and so that will have its own separation right here. So this is the colon. And then you have um, the colon you have down here, the urogenital. This is your kidney. So there's two kidneys. There's one here and there's one here. Um, coming off the kidney, there is going to be a ureter. Okay, that's the ureter, and it connects the kidney to the bladder. This is the bladder. This is a female, and this is the reason why it's a female. I'm not going to show you guys a male. Um, I didn't. We didn't have to know the, the testes. So down here at the base of the bladder are these little bitty curvy things. Okay, that is the ure uterine horns. So, I'm kind of glancing over the list. Oh, the nares, that should be easy. The nares are, are on your list. Um, the rugae is on the list, but I'm not gonna give that to you as a test. But if you were to cut the stomach open, then you would see these little folds inside of the stomach. I think that's it. Oh, the vibrissae. <laughs> I think that's it. That dot? 